It's not only voters in New Hampshire going to the polls on Tuesday. In Bridgeport, Connecticut, a revote is being held after the Democratic mayoral primary election was tainted by a ballot stuffing scandal last year. Because of the widespread fraud caught on camera, a judge ordered a redo. And now new election complaints have already been filed ahead of Tuesday's vote. We showed you this footage back in November. John Gomes running for mayor against incumbent Joe Gannum sued after these videos surfaced. Surveillance cameras outside ballot drop boxes show several people inserting multiple ballots at once on multiple occasions. One of the lawyers for Gomes' campaign said video surveillance showed no more than 420 people use ballot drop boxes, yet over 1,200 ballots were inside. Some of those people caught on camera were accused of being city employees connected to helping Ganem's campaign. Ganem beat Gomes by 251 votes in the September primary, then won again in the general election in November. But a judge said not so fast, ruling the election was void after overwhelming evidence of voter fraud in the primary. That brings us to Tuesday. The two Democratic candidates will square off once again. If Ganem wins, then the drawn-out race will be over. But if Gomes wins the mayoral primary in the redo, then the city will also have to hold another general election on February 27th. An election already highly criticized is facing a fresh round of complaints filed by the state. The Secretary of State is asking the Elections Enforcement Commission to look into 1,400 absentee ballots possibly being illegally circulated ahead of the revote. The allegations stem from a photo that appears to show a person who isn't registered with the clerk's office handing out ballots. The election fraud in Bridgeport has revolved around absentee ballots. The Secretary of State encouraged residents to vote in person.